As the DevOps industry is gaining momentum, the tools like Ansible and Terraform have also witnessed an increase in their popularity. Both the tools help in deploying their code and infrastructure. In these two, Ansible is like the more mature one of the two, originating in 2012 and eventually acquired by Red Hat in 2015. Whereas Terraform is a HashiCorp product and was first released in 2014. This video will take a look at both tools and theory of operation and shows what features they share and how they contrast. Hello everyone, this is Thruf from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session where I will be talking about two major DevOps tools that is Ansible and Terraform. So without any further ado, let's take a look at today's agenda. So we will start this session by first understanding what is Terraform and what is Ansible. Moving ahead, we will understand the similarities and differences between Terraform and Ansible. Finally, we will conclude this session by understanding for which tool one should go for. Before we begin, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on trending technologies. And also, if you are interested in online training certification in DevOps, check out the link given in the description box below. So first, let's understand what is Terraform. So Terraform is an open source tool for building, changing, and versioning infrastructure securely and effectively. It is an infrastructure as a code tool that is very straightforward to use. It helps to develop and scale cloud services and manage the state of the network. Its primary use is in data centers and software-defined networking environments. It does not install and manage software on existing devices. Instead, it creates, modifies, and destroys servers and various other cloud services. So there is Slack, Uber, Starbucks, Twitch, and all big brands are using Terraform. We can also integrate Terraform with Microsoft Azure, Heroku, and Google Compute Engine as well. Now let's understand what is Ansible. So Ansible is the most significant way to automate and configure applications in IT infrastructure. Ansible is an open source configuration management tool mainly designed for provisioning and deploying applications using infrastructure as a code. It has its own language to describe system configuration. Ansible is agentless, making it manage large deployments across enterprises using Windows PowerShell or SSH to perform its tasks. Ansible is not completely declarative, it is a hybrid of procedural and declarative. We will understand what is procedural and declarative approach further in this session. Also, Ansible can integrate with uh, Amazon EC2, Docker, and Kubernetes. Companies like Zalando, Revolt, and 9Giga are using Ansible. Now let's understand the similarities and differences between Terraform and Ansible. So first, let's understand the category of both of these tools. So Terraform is like an infrastructure provisioning tool. Infrastructure provisioning means it can provision your like virtual machine, networking, databases. And whereas Ansible is a configuration management tool, which means it can configure your applications running on, say it on packages running on Linux or Unix, so it can go out and upgrade them. Now coming to a second difference, that is uh, the approach. So Terraform follows the declarative infrastructure as a code approach, whereas Ansible follows the procedural approach. So declarative infrastructure as a code approach is where the end goal or attributes of the automation is described. And through a purpose-built program, it is uh, interpreted in order to realize the goal. Declarative systems are not general purpose and are applied to specific domains. Ultimately, declarative systems execute procedural code and as such are at higher level of automation. Whereas a procedural approach to automation is similar to in concept uh, to what a recipe for cooking. Procedural automation consists of a listing of uh, each step required to achieve the goal of the automation. Procedural systems are completely general in application, capable of any automation task the underlying hardware is capable of. Now the next thing is what uh, these tools are best fit for. So Terraform is like a best fit for orchestrating uh, cloud services and uh, set up cloud infrastructure from scratch as it is an orchestration tool. So orchestration addresses the needs to automate the lifecycle environments. So it concerns itself with infrastructure provisioning, scaling, deprivation and uh, operations. Then the Ansible, which is uh, best fit for configuring servers as the configuration management tool. So configuration management like automates the configuration of applications or hardware. Like I explained to you, if you have packages running on Linux and Unix, then uh, Ansible can like upgrade those packages. So as such, it tends to be highly specialized for particular applications or domains. Orchestrator will like uh, delegate to configuration managers to configure elements of our deployments. Such delegation can be either triggered by the orchestrator 
or completely delegated for day two operations depending on the configuration management tool. So next is a bare metal provisioning which is the process of installing and operating the system directly on a computer's hardware. Bare metal provisioning can be done manually by inserting an operating system CD or DVD into a new computer and uh, responding to question prompts, or it can be automated across a large number of community computers with special software tools such as uh, BMC's uh, Date Logic or Puppet Labs Razor as well. So Terraform does not support uh, bare metal provisioning by default, whereas Ansible uh, supports provisioning of bare metal servers. Now coming to like packaging and templating. So Terraform does not provide better support in terms of packaging and templating, whereas Ansible provides full support for packaging and templating. Lastly, there is lifecycle management. If you see Terraform, which actually highly depends on uh, lifecycle or state management, whereas Ansible does not have uh, lifecycle management at all, I would say. Now the question is which tool uh, you should choose? Which tool is uh, better for your business or for your work? So every tool has uh, its unique characteristics and limitations. So let's uh, check out which one to go with. So Terraform comes with a uh, good uh, scheduling capabilities and is uh, very user friendly. It integrates with uh, Docker well as uh, Docker handles the configuration management slightly better than Terraform. But there is no clear evidence of how the target devices are brought to their final state. And sometimes the final configuration is unnecessary. Now coming to Ansible. Ansible comes with better security and uh, ACL functionality. It is uh, considered a mature tool because it adjusts comfortably with the uh, traditional automation frameworks. It offers simple operations and helps to port quickly. But on the other hand, it is not good at services like logical dependencies, orchestration services, and interconnected applications. You can now choose between these two according to the requirement of the situation and for the job. For example, if the containerized solution is used to provision software within the cloud, then Terraform is uh, preferable. On the other hand, if you want to gain reasonable control of your devices and find other ways to deploy underlying services, and Cyber is like more suitable, these tools uh, will provide more comprehensive solutions in the future for sure. So the final conclusion is it is essential to know which tool is used uh, for which job among Terraformers and Cyber. And Terraform is mainly known for provisioning uh, infrastructure across uh, various clouds. It supports more than 200 providers and great tool to manage uh, cloud services uh, below the server. In comparison, Ansible is optimized to perform both provisioning and configuration management. Therefore, we can say both Terraform and Ansible can work hand in hand as standalone tools or work together, but always pick up the right tool as per your job required. So with this, we come to the end of uh, today's session of Terraform versus Ansible. I hope you had a great time learning and understanding about it. And if you have any queries, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!